I swear I have devised a recipe for oven fries so crunchy you will think they were deep fried. Want proof? And unlike quote-unquote real fries, these are easy and clean to make in your house. Not quick, but easy and clean. How do you get them so crunchy? Well, you gotta think like a Brit. Well, that's great because I am one. Quickly before I get into this video, make sure you watch Adam Ragusi's video on crispy oven fries if you haven't already, because it will help make this video make a lot more sense if you know what I'm referring to. Anyway, back to oven fries. Yes, oven fries are not technically fries. They're roast potatoes. And who makes the best roast potatoes? The Brits. What's their secret? They boil them first. Just like Adam says, the best way to get crispy, super crunchy, fluffy on the inside fries is to make oven fries the same way the British make roast potatoes. And the way Adam makes his is almost the same way I, I make my roast potatoes, which I've done many times before. So I'm going to take my method of making roast potatoes and apply that to fries. And so all I'm going to have to change really is the shape I cut them in. We're going to start with one big potato or two medium-sized potatoes, one per person. I'm only making these for me, but you can make these for however many people you want, so you can just scale it up as big as you need. A key part for me is to leave the skin on. You can peel them if you really hate the peel, but this is the way to get the most flavour and crunch. And then just cut them into really thick fries, about the thickness of a thumb. Remember, these will shrink by half when we roast them later. Now they're cut, put them into a pan and cover with water and boil for as long as Adam puts it. You basically boil these until you're terrified they're going to fall apart, which is a particular danger with the long, thin shape we're working with. See how it's looking bendy? That scares me, and it should. As Jamie Oliver once said, the secret is to boil them as long as you dare. Mine boiled for about nine minutes before I decided that was long enough, and then very carefully drain them. They will very easily break if you're not careful, and then you will end up with potato cubes instead of fries, so just be careful with that. Now put them into a deep baking tin, large enough for them to make a single layer. You don't want them on top of each other because the crispiness will come from them touching the baking tin. Now you can use any oil, but there's not really any point if you're not going to use olive oil, as this will give it the sort of distinct British potato flavour. Now give a big glug of oil, not enough so they're swimming in oil, but enough to very much coat them. As you can see, these aren't healthy at all, but they are really good. So every calorie of oil is worth it. Plus, you're not going to eat all of the oil. Most of it will get drained off at the end. Now, if I hold one up, you can see all that rough potato fluff on the outside. That will give you amazing crispiness. So that's what we're going for. Now into a 190 degrees Celsius oven or 370 degrees Fahrenheit for all the Americans out there. And I leave them in for a good 40 minutes. At the 40 minute mark, we're going to take them out, give them a turn. We don't need to be careful now as they're a bit more rigid. So we're going to give them a good shake, put them back in the oven until they look exactly like this. Crispy, golden, glassy, crunchy look. Adam did his a little too long and they're a bit burnt. So these are perfect, which is another 40 minutes after I put them back in the second time. Now we're going to drain the excess oil. We're going to tip them into a glass or metal container covered with paper towels. To soak up the extra oil, then whip out the paper towel. And at this time, we're going to season. This is hands down my favourite way to season these potatoes. You need a decent pinch of flaky salt, a good amount of pepper, a shake of parsley and a shake of garlic powder and give them a real good mix. And as you can hear already, just how crunchy they already are. Serve up into a dish and for the all important crispy sound test. Boiling them before roasting them makes them so fluffy on the inside as you can clearly see here. Anyway, thank you for sticking around. Um, I'll leave a link for Adam's video in the description so you can go check that out and I'll hopefully get, see you guys in the next video. Um, thank you and goodbye.